Hi, I'm Dr. Kumiko, doctor of physical therapy and violinist. Today we're going to review how to study and memorize the muscles of the anterior forearm. The anterior forearm is divided into three main layers. The superficial layer, the intermediate layer, and the deep layer. And each of these layers have a few muscles in them. I'm going to lay out how you can organize them, how you can label them, and how you can memorize using a story format, and also some mnemonics. Let's start with the superficial layer. There are five different muscles that I want you to remember that are in the superficial layer. You can remember this by remembering a story about how you're studying for anatomy and how you're failing some tests, but you're also passing some tests and how your grades are improving. So follow along with me. If you have your forearm, use your other hand to place it right on top of your skin. And this is representing the superficial layer. The first test, you passed. The second test, you failed. The third test, you passed. And then the fourth test, you also failed. And so that gives you a B in the class. So this is how you're gonna remember all of the first letters of all the names of these muscles. The first one being the passed test or pronator teres muscle. The second test is failed. So that's your flexor carpi radialis muscle. And you can remember this because that is pointing towards the radial side of your forearm. The third muscle was a passed test. That is your palmaris longus muscle. And then the fourth one is your flexi carpi ulnaris muscle, which was also a failed test. That is on your ulnar side of the forearm. And with all of those scored together, that gives you a B for the class. And the B stands for your brachioradialis muscle. So as the story continues, you have four more tests to take. You have one test in your intermediate layer, and then you have three tests in your deep layer. Unfortunately, you failed three tests, but you were able to pass your final exam. So if we take a look at the forearm again, from the intermediate layer. This was our first failed test, which is the flexor digitorum superficialis. Underneath this muscle, you have another one, our second failed test, which is the flexor digitorum profundus muscle. And then you have the third test, which was failed as well. That's your flexor pollicis longus muscle. And the fourth one you were able to pass, and that is your pronator quadratus muscle. You can also remember the deep layer of the forearm by remembering that you smashed your final exam, you were able to pass the final exam by using the flexor digitorum profundus muscle, the flexor pollicis longus muscle, and that pronator quadratus, which helps you really finish out that punching motion, also known as those punching muscles. So in the end, you were able to pass your class and you were able to get an A in the course as you learned all of your anterior forearm muscles. And a little extra fun fact for you guys, these muscles in the anterior forearm are mainly innervated by the median nerve. There's only two muscles that are innervated by the ulnar nerve. The first one is the flexor carpi ulnaris and then you also have the flexor digitorum profundus. Half of this muscle is innervated by the median nerve and the other half is innervated by the ulnar nerve. I have put together a small study guide memorization sheet, which you can find in a link in the description. I'm also gonna be putting up a QR code that you can scan, which will take you to the PDF of this study sheet. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you were able to learn the anterior forearm muscles Happy studying.